as I sit here, as I live and breathe, Team Fortress 2 is currently the third most highest played game on Steam. TF2 is currently a third most played game on Steam with 223,000 players um, at the moment. One hour ago, peak players 209,000. This has completely smashed the previous peak of I think 130,000 concurrent players. We're currently sitting at 221,000. 581 players on Team Fortress 2. This is a game that's 15 years old. That is nuts. I'm just happy to see a lot of people enjoying TF2 or playing TF2 at the very least. So thanks for that time. We take a look at those maps. So yeah, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new maps in that were added with the summer update. Now it's my understanding that the versus Saxon Hill game mode has been currently disabled just because there were some issues with it when it first released and I think it crashed whenever you joined a game or whenever someone got Saxon Hill, which is kind of the main point of the game. So instead we're just going to take a look at these lovely maps. Cashworks, Pelican Peak, Reckoner, Selbian, Sulphur, Hardwood, Phoenix, Rotunda, Shark Bay and Venice. Very excited to see what these have to offer. I've seen pictures of them through like the workshop and stuff so it's very interesting to see how they're going to actually play in a proper game of Team Fortress 2 with 220,000 concurrent players. I'm very excited to jump back into Team Fortress 2 on a new map and we're on Cashworks the first one. Okay, lovely stuff, looks like a bit of a heist type beat. Very interesting, very nice looking scenery from what I can see. And that's what I'm really about, you know, I love, love the scenery of TF2 maps. This is a very nice looking map so far. I'm like it, Picasso. Very cool little hologram there. This looks lovely though. <laughs> he was trying to do the funny burn under the gate trick. Oh. Oh. Okay. I didn't even see. <laughs> I didn't even see that man. Oh, nice. I'll take that. I like the eagle screams, that's a good, good touch. I like maps with a lot of verticality and this is a very, very vertical map, like massive buildings. Oh god. Oh! Ah. Oh. If only that sentry wasn't there, that'd have been sick. <laughs> I popped off. This looks like a good place to hold, I mean they do have a little sentry gun up there which is kind of, kind of spooky. Um, if we can just keep them there, it's still, still a dub, like they're not winning. They are quite close to a point though, which is very scary. Oh, glass floors, very interesting. There it is, there's the mother load, there's the gold. Trespassers will be violated. Oh, damn, I might be about to trespass. Oh, I like this, a little bit of a bridge, very nice. Fun for pyros, I imagine. Lol, the master flank. That's what that was. Learned that one of fucking war school, mate. I'm a fan though. Like I like the vibes of the map. It's a nice alpine map, and it's like I said, very tall map. I love this as like a setting for a like a halo map, like a heist. That's very cool. Oh, little new little spawn, little underground bunker type B. Okay, not as glamorous as the other one, but we'll take it. Decent map. Art style is phenomenal. Map itself, it's okay. Probably about like a six out of ten, six seven out of ten. Very decent map, very very decent map, but uh, it's a bit, bit funky, bit funky fresh. Oh my god, that was a very lucky crit. I can't cap, but I mean I'll take it. Oh my god, I'm fucking. Coming. Sorry, I've just got a 10 KS. I've got a pro KS shotgun. That's all that was. Oh, come on, guys, don't crumble now. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Please. Come on. Please. Oh, no. Disaster. We're all dead. Oh, man. They got the gold, man. They got the gold. Yeah, it's alright. Anyway, yeah, 6 out of 10, like I said. Decent map. Nice. Looks nice. It's alright. It's okay. We're on our way. Wait, this isn't a new map. <laughs> One second, please. Reckoner. I reckon this will be fun. Oh, we got some bamboo. We got some. We had the Japanese flair at the beginning. I'm gonna guess this is a Japanese themed map. More colourful flowers, more bamboo. 
Yep, very nice. Very modern looking, um, as I think most Japanese maps are in the TF2 art style. I do like that. It just looks very nice. I, I think some sort of like hydroelectricity plant or something. That'd have to be my guess. You know, I don't know the lore of this map, but it looks very nice nonetheless. Maybe that's just the TF2 art style being very nice, which it is. I think it's quite nice. Fucking heard that. Spies on Japanese map. What a shock. Oh, that's a nice touch there. A little wet floor slime. Yeah, it's the little things. Some nice plants. Looking at it, right. I've never seen this this nice foliage in TF2 before, so it's very, very nice. And it just looks cool. Like, as very much what I imagined Japan would look like. Nice. I'll take that. Look at my cool little kill streak effect. The Japanese theme definitely helps it because it looks so cool. But I'm a fan. I don't really play 5CP much, so it's, it's always nice to play. It does look like a couple of the 5CP maps, but at the end of the day, what can you do with 5CP? You know, it's a very structured game mode, I guess. But yeah, it was fun. I'd probably give it like, a, like an 8 out of 10. Very enjoyable. Um, helps by the fact that we've won. But all in all, I think the map design is very nice. It looks very cool. It's the meme 5CP map. 5CP map with Japanese. Oh my god! Big fan of this map, Reckoner. 8 out of 10. Very cool. Love the vibes. Mwah. This is one of the maps I was most excited for. This is Shark Bay. I'm a huge fan of sharks. Already loving the vibe. This is like a little 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 metro city area, you know, just the little docks on the edge of the city. Very cool. There's a shark in the map icon. I hope I see the shark. The control point is a boat as well, which I think is extremely cool. That's also very cool. The, uh, the the steam whistle blowing. There's the shark. There he is. There he is. Very cool. No. The sharks got me. So far though, I'm loving the vibes. Loving the sharks. They are a big selling point of the map for me. And I mean, they're there. This truly is the Bay of Sharks. I think the map looks nice. There's a seagull. Map critique with OTGT. Yep, yeah, it's got a seagull on it. Yeah, I saw that, and I tried to get away, but it just wasn't to be, man. It means we can spend more time looking at the seagull, which is a dub in my eyes. But yeah, it's a very nice looking map. That, you're going to hear me say that a lot throughout this video, because I'm in love with the TF2 art style. It has a choke hold on me, but it looks nice. Very cool design. I like the idea of having a boat as a capture point. I think that's very fun. I think it's very cool that it's a fishing boat as well, instead of like a warship, because it adds that... Uh, an extra bit of realism onto it. Nine fatal shark attacks. Nine fatal shark. One of those was me. So, you know, I'm proud to be contributing. <laughs> Beware the winged menace. I thought the seagull was pretty cool, but they are indeed a winged menace. I mean, all in all, I think it's a very fun map. Maybe the sharks are the what pushed it over the edge for me. I don't know. They are a very big part of the map, though. I like it, you know, a little, little fishing boat, I assume. Just chilling. Very cool nonetheless. I'm a big, big fan of Shark Bay. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I just love sharks. What can I say? I've heard very, many good things about Selbien. Selbien. I don't know how to say it, but there's a seal right there. Oh my god, look at them. There they are. We're capturing seals. We're capturing fish for the seals. What's going on? I don't know, but I'm, I'm about it. There's seals everywhere. I want to see the seals. Show me the seal. There they are. <laughs> oh, yes. I love that. But we should probably take a look at more of the map. Oh my god, there's little seal plushies, seal masks. Oh my god. Five dollars or five for 30 cents? Five? I, I don't know what. I don't know what I'm reading there. That seal looks hungry. <laughs> oh. What seal? Oh my god. There he is. There he is, the big boy. Hey man, I'm just looking at the seal, okay? Leave me alone. Have some fish, my friend. No! I give him two fish. Oh my god. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> there he is. Arrival. He looks like he's going to whack the seal. He's going to club the seal. That's very sad. Ban that guy. Can we get that guy banned? IP ban him. Get him gone. Don't want him in my game. I thought the seals were very cool. I guess a 10 out of 10 for me. 
purely for the seal. If that seal ever leaves TF2, I'm going to cry. Because he's just so round, so rotund. What a creature. What a creature. It's a place I've actually been in real life. I know, I went out and touched grass. There's not much grass in Venice, but you get the idea. Um, so I'm going to tell you how accurate this is to real life Venice. Okay, so far, didn't see this in Venice. So we'll, there are no railroads in Venice either, so already it's not looking good. What kind of LGBT flag is that? I don't know. I'm getting attacked already. Great news. Having the car in water, very nice touches. That, I don't know if you know this, but there's a lot of water in Venice. <laughs> I did really enjoy Venice though. Um, there were no um, American men running around with guns. There was a man with a green glob on his head though, so that's very accurate. But it does give Venetian vibes. Um, obviously it's not a complete recreation of Venice. Venice is very tight, full of alleyways and mainly alleyways really. <laughs> um, obviously that wouldn't really work in the sense of Team Fortress 2. I do think it's a bit too open, a bit too many wide open spaces, but I guess for the type of gameplay TF2 uh, lets you enjoy, it makes sense, oh man. Like if we're comparing Venice real life and TF2 map Venice, they're obviously going to be very, very different. But it just feels a bit too like plain, I guess. Like the level design is lovely, but then the interiors, them they're huge, quite sparsely decorated. Like they do fit the vibe of the map, but they they do underwhelm just a bit. I feel they look lovely. Don't get me wrong, but they do kind of. Kind of not look great. It's okay map, I just think it's a bit boring. Now I don't indict the map makers, they do an amazing job. It's something I can't wrap my head around. Um, you're keeping the game alive, so thank you for that very much. But in my humble opinion, the humble opinion of a little YouTube guy, I just think the map's a bit boring, that's all. It's just the, the wide open interiors kind of throw me off. Like I know it's part of the game, I know it makes the game better, to, easier to play, but I'm just, I'm just not a fan personally. I do love the inspiration though, Venice is a great inspiration for a, a map, so it's a wonderful city, if you get the opportunity to visit, you should, because it is lovely. Be prepared to walk though, I know you Americans aren't used to that, but pre be prepared anyway. Oh, poor spy. This, this is actually accurate to Venice, this actually happened, this bit here is accurate. Right now this map is at the lowest of rankings of the maps so far it's currently sitting around a six it's just not doing it for me that's that's the main crux of my rating it's just not doing it for me like why would you do I, like this is kind of a boring end point like you know the other map had a massive vault of gold uh, i think venice could have something a bit, a bit cooler you know it was it was an all right map you know venice is cool but for me personally, this map just didn't really do it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a 5 out of 10 for me. Alright map, looks okay. But yeah, it just didn't, didn't really do it, unfortunately. Now we move to Rotunda, King of the Hill map. I'm quite a fan of King of the Hill. I also like trains. So, this is looking promising for me. Ooh, I like the vibes, you know. I like that we're slowly going round in a circle on this little spectator cam. That's a German map, okay. Well, it's based in Germany. Um, what shenanigans? Okay, this is quite cool. I do like this. This is some lovely map architecture going on here. Looks very abandoned. Very, they just left this as the allies were coming. Sort of vibes. This train looks cool though. Big fan of the train. Any train guys want to tell me what train this is, or if it's based off a train? We got a train. We got a moving train. You know. This is what I this is what I like to see. This is what I'm about. I don't know how to say it, this is very train themed, like they did a good job theming this around a train. What is that? What the fuck is that? I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Come on guys, I was taking a look at the thing, I was taking a look at the, the MacGuffin man. If you guys not let me look at the MacGuffin in peace. I like this part of the map though. Like it's very it could also could also could almost be like some sort of horror game level. Just got that rundown, abandoned feeling, you know. Quite dark, dank. Probably s smells. You know the vibes. What's that pyro doing? I like that this is a German branch of red and blue team. I think that's very, very funky. 
makes sense they would have global um, organizations to get all that gravel you know there's a lot of gravel in the world I, I assume I don't know what the gravel rates are like in 1950 but I'm sure there's quite a bit it does feel like Germany I've never been to Germany mind you it just feels like it I, I imagine this is what it would feel like Oh, it's literally called the MacGuffin. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just saying that as a meme. It's literally called that. Okay. This map, currently sitting at an 8. Very, very big fan of it. This looks spooky. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a train guy. I just, I can appreciate a good train. And this map has a lot of good trains, some nice buildings, a very cool environment, I think. Um, and Europe mentioned, so that's always a dub. And there's a funny gloop sound when you walk on the oil. What more could you ask for? There we go. Big, big dub. I like it. 8 out of 10. Rotunda, you get my seal of approval. It's cool. It's cool. Grey like Europe. <laughs> Sulfur. What is it? I don't know. But apparently it's a Japanese attack defend map. There's two Japanese maps in this update. I'm not complaining. It looks very nice from these pictures. Ah. Oh. That changed very quickly. <laughs> okay. Already I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Very tall bamboo shoots it looks like. Okay. Can't see them. No worries. Is this like a hot bath? Alright. Fair enough. Yeah. It looks very cool. Whoa. Oh my. This does look beautiful. Oh my god. Mount Fuji in the background, you got all these you got all these cherry blossoms, all this bamboo. Oh wow, this does look beautiful. Oh wow. <laughs> this is a very nice looking map. The great is that the Great Wave? I love the Great Wave. That is my it's my favourite piece of artwork ever. Oh wow, it's the Great Wave. That is nice. I like that. I'm surprised they got that in TF2. I don't know what the copyright is on the Great Wave, though, to be honest. You know what? I think this is just nice vibes, you know? But this map does look beautiful. It's a nice hot springs. What, what map, man? What map? Lots of places you could explore in the hot springs, I guess. It's a very vast hot springs. Wow. Oh, mad. This area of the map looks beautiful. If we're rating we're this map on aesthetics, it's 10 out of 10. Is this another instance of anything Japanese is automatically amazing? Maybe, but the aesthetics of the map is just phenomenal. Like, everything in this map looks wonderful. I'm a massive fan of what I'm seeing. I've even got one of these funky gardens, which looks very cool. Just little, little bits like this in the map, it just looks so nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful looking map, 100%, looks phenomenal. So I'm just going to rank it on how I think how I think it plays, and I'm going to say I think it plays pretty good. This is got to be a 9 out of 10, honestly. I would give it a 9 out of 10, because it just looks beautiful. But look at it, man. Just look at that. <laughs> it's, it's fucking beautiful. It's just a very well put together map. Thematically, it all works together. I like what I'm seeing. Me and this heavy are doing the same thing. It, it, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful, doesn't heavy. It looks beautiful. It all works very well together. Big, big fan of this map. I'll play it as it's meant to be played at some point, but just for this video, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. I think it's very nice. Hello, engineer. It looks very nice, and I'm sure it plays well as well. <laughs> With Phoenix. Now, this map looks lovely. Yeah, look at that. This is a, a beauty, a beauty of map architecture. Wow, just wow. I mean, I'm in awe at the environments these map creators have made. Oh, is it payload? Oh god. Quite unfortunate that I won't get to see most of the map in this round, but I just guess you know with joining games in progress, that's always bound to happen. Which you know, that's fine. It, it does look nice though. Based in America. Uh, very similar to that one Overwatch map, I I feel. I get those vibes, it's probably completely different, but that's the vibes I grab from this. Looks like it's some sort of quarry, perhaps, or a, a dam, actually. Um, Did you buy that thing there? Is that a dam? 
I don't know. I don't know what it is. But it looks cool either way. That's all I know. Oh my god, what a creature. Eldritch Foreskin Devourer. I'm I'm sure you would devour my foreskin given the chance. Oh my god. The map does look beautiful though. I'll give it that. It certainly looks beautiful. It's very grand. I imagine it's quite nice on the other aspects of the map as well that I haven't seen. That's not great though. That's not great at all. Oh, that lift is moving with some speed. Oh my god. Six people on that bloody thing. Oh my god. We're gonna lose. They're gonna blow up the cool dam. Or whatever it is. I assume it's a dam. No, no, not the dam, no. No. Look at that, it looks cool. Um, I'm gonna give what I saw of Phoenix, I'm gonna give it like a, an 8 out of 10. Very solid. The rest of the map does look nice from what I've seen. Just wish I got to play a bit more of it. And I will do in my own time, of course. But yeah, solid map. We're on our way to Hardwood and coincidentally, that was me when I found out this update had released. <laughs> I apologise for that, that was dreadful. But hey, attack defend in a forest. What more could you ask for? Ooh, I'm liking this already. This looks very nice. It looks like a very nice logging factory, I'm going to assume. Probably not. Who knows? Maybe. It's got a lift. That's quite nice. But whatever it is, I'm, I'm liking it already. The environment is very nice. Um, this little forest they've made looks beautiful. It could very much exist in America. Like, spawn? Eh, mid. Very mid. But it's what else? It's what outside the matters. It's, it's beautiful. It looks very nice. Got some very imposing trees in the background as well. Just look at this, man. It's a very nice looking map. That looks very nice. That's the last point I'm assuming. That looks nice. Don't know what it is, but it looks cool. That looks nice as well. Yeah, lovely looking map. Oh, we're in the we're in the new spawn, the fancy spawn. Okay, is that like a little model of what they what they got going on in here? If so, nice. Yeah, I think it was all right. You know, decent map. Environments were very cool. Um, we may have lost, but I liked it. This looks beautiful though. Like this really does look like a thing of beauty. See, so yeah, I give it I give it a seven out of ten. It was quite nice. Very nice looking map. Very nicely laid out. Yeah, but I think it's okay. It was a decent map. Attack Defend was never really my favourite game mode anyway, so I don't really play it much, but I like it. It's a nice looking map. Pelican Peak. Are there any pelicans on this map? I don't know. It looks kind of funky from the pictures though, so I guess we'll see if there's a pelican. I also do like CTF, so that's a, ni that's a nice. Got a shower. Okay, okay. Fairly decent looking already. Not sure what this is. Looks to me like maybe like a prison of some sorts, perhaps. I'm not too sure. Guess I'm getting kicked then, boys. Yep, there it is. Lovely stuff. Pelican Peak. Are there pelicans? I don't know. No, hopefully we don't get a cheetah. But to be fair, we've done pretty well. We've managed to look at all the maps bar this one without a cheetah. So I'm actually fairly happy with that outcome. Um, other than that, though, map actually looks quite nice. Um, as you know, I'm a, a CTF enjoyer. So that's, that's, it's always lovely to have a CTF map. Uh, oh my god. Overall though, I, I, I'm I enjoying the vibes of this map, you know? It's probably not going to become a rotation of the maps I normally play, I'll be honest. Um, but it's still quite, quite good. Pelican Peak, very decent map, you know, there's not really much to it. I mean, these cool little underground areas were pretty fun. It's, it's a decent map, you know, I'll give it a 7. It's alright. It's nothing to write home about. But yeah, it's, 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 it's okay. It's alright. And that concludes the maps of the Summer 2023 update. All in all, I think they were very high quality maps. Most of them were phenomenal. A lot of the map design was beautiful. The environments the map creators created were sublime. I think the seal. A very standout feature of the maps. The seal is very cool. I believe its name is Sylvia, according to the map creator. So, Sylvia is amazing. <laughs> and yeah, I'm very impressed by the maps we received um, in this update. I know we didn't get the community fixes a lot of the community wanted. There, there's always the chance they'll add those in future updates. It's just a shame they didn't come with this one. Other than that though, yeah, I was just very pleasantly surprised with the maps we received. Most of them were very nice and I would definitely play them again. I will play them again. But other than that, yeah, I'm very happy with the maps we received. I think map created a great job with this update and I'm just happy we got a bigger holiday update than we would normally receive. Thank you, Valve, for 
uh, doing that. Obviously, it's not the be all and end all of updates, I hope. I've been over the giant tree. I'm a big fan of the maps we've received in this update. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy, I just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.